Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Alexis Davis and I'm back with the new video. So I am bringing you another story time video because I enjoy making these videos and you guys enjoy watching it. Today, we're going to be talking about your favorite candle company. Yup, that one. The one that's in your brain right now. That's what we're talking about. I used to work for this company a few years ago. Maybe 2018. Like, not too long ago. But I'm going to tell you the truth about this company. How they treat their employees and what they tolerate and allow to go on in their stores. So this story is about actually a, another girl that I worked with. And I have permission to share this story. Like, she hit me up. Cause, well, I hit her up and asked her if I could talk about the situation because it's like insane. And she said yes. And then recently she hit me up like, when are you going to post it? So I'm here today to give the tea. So like I said, my good sis said that I have permission to share this story, but I am going to protect her identity just because I want to. So I'm not going to use her real name. We're going to use a fake name. And the fake name I came up with is Brittany. Don't ask me why. I don't know, Brittany just came to mind. A few years ago when I was working for this candle company, me and Brittany was working together, like we just started around the same time. So we were doing like a lot of training together, which was cool because usually when you train for jobs, they don't give you the opportunity to train with someone. So you are like learning with somebody. If you have a question, you could ask them, you know? I think that me and Brittany really clicked well because I'm not gonna lie, we're a little slow. Like we're just a little slow. Um. <laughs> We would train together and someone would literally tell us something and then we would ask each other a question and have no idea what we're doing. Like it was a good bonding experience because you like fail and you mess up and you learn stuff together. She was really cool. Like she's, I still talk to her t today. Like, like I said, like she gave me permission. We're mad cool. So the team at the time that I used to, well, me and Brittany used to work with was cool. Like everyone was really, really cool. And my problem, I feel like I always join these jobs and I never realize I'm the only black person there until some shit happens. And I look around and I'm like, huh, I'm the only black person here. Like I said, everyone is cool at this job except one person. One person being Linda. Linda is an old evil little bitch. And here's why. I never had any issues with Linda. Linda would go about her day. Like I said, she is old. She's an older lady. She might be pushing 70. I don't know. But Linda goes about her day like super sweet to me. Like she's not disrespectful at all. But she makes comments about black people. And she didn't think I was going to find out. So one day I was working with another person at work there. And they came to me like, yo, don't be cool with Linda. And I'm like, why can't I be cool with Linda? Because Linda ain't do nothing to me. I ain't do nothing to Linda. They was like, she came to me the other day and she was, ha, 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 ha. It must be the first of the month because it's so many black people in here. Or she's, she either said it must be the first of the month because it was a whole bunch of black people in the store. Or she said it must be the first of the month because of all these black people in here. Either way, the store was filled with black people when she said it to this person. And a person came to me and told me. And you're probably thinking, why didn't this person just go report it? I don't know. But they came to me. So it was my mission to report it because I'm like, no, I don't care if I'm working at McDonald's. If you are discriminating, I'm going to get you in trouble because you're not going to play by my people. So I go to the district manager and sometimes when you're dealing with these people, you have to like really pull strings to get them to understand how much it like things need to change. I'm talking to him. I'm telling him about, you know, what I heard in the situation and stuff. And I could tell he's like fake concern with these companies. You have to bring up HR if it's some shit like this because I'm not tolerating that. Did I think she was going to get fired or something? I don't know. I just was like, I'm telling. I'm telling and I told. This funky little D district manager, stupid shithead ass. Come, that was a lot of cursing. I'm sorry. <sighs> he comes to the store 
to talk to Linda and tell her about what she said. When I tell you that conversation lasted about three, three to five minutes, she came back out. I looked at her. She's like, and then goes on the cash register to cash people out. So I'm looking like, what kind of conversation was that? So keep in mind, keep this district manager in your head and don't forget him because you're not going to believe what else he does. Another problem working at this company was the shoplifters. And not for me in particular. I don't care who comes up and where and want to take what. If it has nothing to do with me, if you're not stealing money out of my wallet or you're not stealing my stuff, I don't care. It's y'all business. I'm just here to work and work for the people who need help work with the people who need help looking at this company the shoplifters were like like crazy like i never seen anything like this so there's a difference between somebody who's shopping to actually buy something and someone who's shopping to steal it somebody in a candle store who's shopping you may see them go pick up a candle smell the candle sit it down look at something else spray it smell it Mm, smells pretty good let me try the lotion so that's a person who's shopping a person who is going to steal is like they not even smelling anything and this company has a lot of new stuff often 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 <laughs> i can't say that so when you steal it when you see somebody in there stealing you like okay like she about to run for it and this company provides the customers with bags because candles are heavy right so you got to put them in bags and stuff carry them around so these booster shoplifters whatever you want to call them will shove like a whole bunch of stuff in these bags and dip like they will run straight for the door and the company said not to chase them personally i was never chasing anybody like ever in life but that's a rule not to chase them. The most you can do is provide recovery questions. And recovery questions are like, oh my God, honey, do you need a bag for that little candle you shoved up your ass? Can I, I can, yep, grab, perfect, here you go. Oh my God, do you have a lotion under your titty? Yep, I just need you, to, <laughs> yeah. We are supposed to do that. Nobody's doing all of that. If I see you stealing some shit, I'm finna. I'm not a part of this. I'm not a part of this at all. Back to my homegirl, Brittany, one day she was working because me and her are both key holders at this point. We are both allowed to open and close the store. That's, that's our responsibilities and sell stuff. So that's what we would do. That's what we would do. So one day, I think she was opening or closing. I'm not quite sure. But she was working one day as the person, like the manager on duty. She's working with this little stupid little bitch, but we're gonna talk about her later, and you're gonna you're gonna see why. Brittany is going about her business. Brittany is a hard worker. I'm not even gonna lie. Like she did her thing, and she like was an overachiever. Like she was she was better than me. I feel like I I did what I had to do, and that's it. Like she was she was she's great. These two women come in, and I noticed like I wasn't there, like I was not there that day, but I seen the video because there's a video. And we're going to get into that in a minute, but there's an actual video. Brittany's going about her business, cleaning up the store. Two girls come in and they shopping like some shoplifters. They not shopping like customers. Remember I said they go like this? That's not really, like you're not really shopping. So she kind of get the vibes like, oh, okay, these ladies are in here to steal. So I don't think she did any recovery questions. I think she kind of just stayed present because they say your presence to helps with shoplifters, which it really doesn't. If they want to take it, they gonna take it. But it kind of just shows them like, hey, I see what's going on. So it may make that person be like, ah, I just playing and put it down or make make somebody like, bitch, I don't give a fuck. So these ladies was on some bitch, I don't give a fuck type shit. And they are like just shoving things, shoving things. So poor Brittany is up front. She's like in the front of the store, but not at the door. She's at the front. And there's like a table at the very front. She just fixing stuff on the table. She's not even doing anything. Just fixing stuff on the table. So I guess the ladies peep that Brittany's watching them. Because like, y'all stealing, come on. And if you're stealing, I feel like shoplifters always get mad tight. Like, it be getting tight when you see them. You stealing. Like, bro, what you want me to do? I see you. One of the ladies get really like tight because... Like, I guess she's watching them still. So, 
they started yelling at her and shit like that. Let me stop cursing. They started yelling at her and stuff. And she's like, what the heck? Like, to the point that they're, like, threatening her. And she's too afraid to turn around because she's like, these ladies might hit me. So she's backing up. Like, she's at the front table and these ladies are by the door at this point. She's backing up. One of the ladies pulls out pepper spray and maces Britney. Fucking maces Britney, bro. You was already about to steal some shit. You had everything that you wanted in a bag. Why would you mace her? So they mace her. And remember the stupid little bitch I was just talking about that was working with her? Brittany is mace. She is doing this. She's trying to see. She's trying to fight for her life. Everything is like, she's doing that. And she's knocking stuff over by accident. She not like, she's knocking stuff over. This stupid little heifer gonna come up to her and say, Hey, can you stop knocking stuff down? Because I can't clean all of this up. Ah, she's maced. She's maced. So, obviously, my, my girl, Brit Brit, she's good. She's alive. Um, Like I said, we're still friends to today. Y'all not going to believe what happened after this because it does not make sense. So, obviously, with situations like this, we have to report it to the district manager and the store manager, too, to let them know, like, somebody got me. Somebody was stealing. Like, it was a whole situation. Brittany goes to the district manager. She tells him like hey like this is what happened and the whole situation it's on camera because they have cameras too so he has both to review to be like what can we do to handle the situation in my opinion i would like compensate britney in some type of way i would make her the hero of the company or something because she got maced on a job just standing there like just standing there she didn't even do nothing she didn't fight these people. She didn't throw some. She didn't do anything. She didn't even get a chance to call the cops. Okay? But this little idiot did. He fired Brittany. He fired her. Why? I don't know. I still don't know. She doesn't even know. I don't even think he would know. And then had the nerve to fight her for unemployment. Y'all fire her. She Y'all don't even want to let her get some, some money to survive for a little bit. But honestly, are we really surprised because he's the same person who, who's buddy-buddy with um, Linda, who they tight. She could say whatever she want. So that's how he handles his employees. Um, I don't want to say it's the company itself. That's why I'm not dropping no names or nothing. And literally before all of this happened, Brittany and myself, we went to the same district manager and told him that we need security in the store because it's getting insane. Like, it's always police reports all the time. Why do, like, this is not safe. And you know what? He didn't do it. And then after Brittany got maced and we both left the job, now they have security. Now they do. Moral of the story is these companies are not shit. Um... Never fight a booster. Not saying that's what Britney did, but never get into it with a booster. Let them do their thing. That's their business with the company. That has nothing to do with you. It's not personal. They got to get what they got to get, and they got to get out. Don't get in their way, because you don't want to get hurt for somebody else's stuff. It's not even your stuff. It's not your stuff. Brit, Brit, Britney, you know who you are. I love you, girl. Um, I hope I gave your story justice because I feel like that was very unfair. I hate that that even happened to you. Fuck you know who. Um, if we ever see him, we can jump him. And Linda, it's up. It's up if I ever see you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the story time video. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Make sure you hit the subscribe button too if you enjoy videos like this. If you want to hear another story time because you know. I got stories. Um, yeah. Bye.